scene is set, my friend, from Miami, Florida. For the National League playoff action with the Miami Dolphins undefeated 14 straight victories on the year against the Cleveland football team led by Nick Scorch. And during his tenure at Cleveland, he has won 19, losing nine. A Brown football team that was second, the wild card choice in the Central Division of the American Football Conference. This is Rick Weaver with Luke Prickmer and Henry Barrow back at the Orange Bowl. In case you missed earlier scores, the Washington Redskins are in, will host the Dallas Cowboys at 3 o'clock next Sunday in the NFC uh, Championship game. And that should be a dandy. The Redskins beat Green Bay earlier today, 16-3. to And the Dolphins or the Browns, the winner of this ball game, will play at noon. Kickoff time from Free River Stadium in Pittsburgh next Sunday. We'll have it for you fans here on in Miami on WIOD beginning at 11.50 against the Pittsburgh Steelers who got in on one of the weirdest plays I or anybody else has ever seen yesterday. But that uh, does not uh, detract from the fact that they have one heck of a football team. Mercury Morris and Charlie Lee are the deep men. Here is Cockroft forward, gets the toe into it. He gets it high, and it's deep back in the end zone. Is Morris, he will not run it back. He will down it. And so the Dolphins will start moving from our right to our left toward the west end zone from the 20-yard line following the opening kickoff, which was down by Mercury Morris in the end zone. The Dolphins will have uh, Jim Kick and Larry Zonka as the running back. Earl Morrill, the quarterback. Paul Warfield and Howard Pulley, the wide receivers. Marv Fleming, the tight end. Wayne Moore, Norm Evans, the tackles. Bob Kuchenberg and Larry Little at the guards. And Jim Langer, the center. The Dolphins break out of the huddle. They set tight in a wing formation with Pulley the wingman, and now Kick moves out as a double wingman to the near side. Zonka in behind Morrow. First down for the Dolphins from our 20-yard line. On the snap, here's the pitch to Zonk. Sweep to the left side. He gets the corner just barely turned and is knocked down on the near side at the 22-yard line, a gain of two. For the Browns, Nick Roman, Walter Johnson, Jerry Shirk, and Bob Briggs, the front four. The linebackers are Charlie Hall, Dale Lindsay, and Billy Andrews. The quarterbacks, Clarence Scott and Ben Davis, and the safeties are Tom Darden and Walt Sumner. A second down and eight Dolphins from the 22-yard line. Rick, I look for Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid to really have busy days. I think Earl is really going to run them back there today. All right, ready to go. Warfield splits near side, fully out to the far side. On the handoff, a trap over the right side. Kick bounces, try to get over the right guard, and he gets no place. It'll be a third down and eight. For the Dolphins from their 22-yard line. We have just started this football game. The backs are split in behind Morrill. Third down and eight from the 22. Morrill drops back to throw. Sets up. He is going to have to scramble now as nobody's open. He gets to the 20-yard uh, line, and that's all. A loss of two on the play. And so the Dolphins uh, show very little on their first offensive sequence, and Larry Seiple's punting unit comes on. Seiple, with a 40-yard punting average, stands back at the five-yard line. Here is the snap. No rush, he booms it out of there. Low trajectory spiral, it bounces at the Browns 42. Rolls inside the 35, good roll inside the 30. Down inside the 25, and is gonna be blown down at about the 24 yard line. Tremendous punch. Down there covering on the play was Charlie Babb. 57 yard punt as they mark it at the uh, Browns 23. So let's set the Browns offensively for you. The quarterback is Mike Phipps, Leroy Kelly, and both Scott, the running back. The wide receivers, Frank Pitts and Fair Hooker. The tight end, Milt Morant. The tackles are Doug Deacon and Bob McKay. The guards, Gene Hickerson and John Demery. And the center is Bob DeMarco. Pitts put to the near side. Here is uh, Pipps. Pipps rolling to his right. Fires a pass. It is almost intercepted. It is! By the Dolphins, Doug Swift. At the 38-yard line, he caught it on a deflection. Doug Swift. Came out of the air with the football. It was intended for Milt Moore on the tight end. The ball was knocked away, deflected in the air, and Swift caught it on the ground. And the Dolphins take over at the Browns' 40-yard line. Rick, if that's any indication, I think you should really say that Miami's ready. They aren't relaxing a minute. Any other ball game, Swift might not be alert to follow that ball, but he stayed right with it and came up with an interception. All right, uh, ready to go. Dolphins first down at the Browns' 40. Pulley and Warfield put to the far side. 
Morrow sets the ball club, waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. They hand off the kick. Wait for the left side. He gets about a yard down to the 39. Henry, were you flipping your switch? Yes, sir. I just wanted to tell you that uh, this unemotional ball club was jumping up and down, screaming and hollering, including its head coach on that interception. All right. Jerry Shirk and Bob Briggs got the tackle on the play. That for uh, the Dolphins was their 27th pass interception of the year. And for Swift, his fourth. And he got it on a deflection. A second down and nine. His kick picked up only a yard. The ball at the Browns' 39-yard line. We have 11 minutes, 49 seconds to go in the first quarter. There is no score. Kick and Zonka, the split back. Bully splits off to the far side. Second down and nine from the Browns' 39-yard line. The Browns uh, spun around on that uh, front uh, line defense. Morrow, play fake, drops back to throw. He sets up, pumps once, fires. The pass is incomplete. So it'll bring up a third down and nine as the Dolphins haven't shown too much on offense thus far. All right, 11 minutes, 30 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Swift just intercepted a Mike Phipps pass. The Dolphins started from the Browns 40, have gained only a yard. It's third down and nine. Here is Morrill dropping back to throw. He sets up, he fires, it is overthrown and tenant for Warfield at the 21-yard line. Now this will be about a 46-yard attempt. Yepremian on the season, 24 out of 37, 115 points. Morrill will hold. Yepremian with a 46-yard field goal attempt. The deep man back is Tom Darden. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Set down. The kick is up. He has the distance. It is no good. Off to the kicker's right. Off to the kicker's right. And it appeared that he hooked the ball. So the Browns will take over from their 20-yard line. As Yepremian misses the first scoring opportunity of the afternoon. A 46-yard field goal attempt. And the Browns will begin operations from their 20. The lineup uh, remains the same defensively for the Dolphins. Denherter, Fernandez, Hines, and Stanfield. The front four, the linebackers are Swift, Bonacani, and Colin. Foley and Johnson, the cornerbacks, Scott and Anderson, the safety. We have 11 minutes and 16 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There is no score. Phipps from the Browns' 20-yard line. As Hooker split to the far side, pitched to the near side. Here is the handoff to Kelly. Over the right side to get the yard. Leroy Kelly picks up a yard out of the 21. Leroy Kelly, the nine-year veteran, all-time on the rushing list behind only Jim Brown, Joe Perry, and Jim Taylor, number four. The all-time rushing list, number 44, along with Bo Scott in the Cleveland backfield. Second down to nine, Browns from their 21-yard line. Here is Phipps, play fake. Pumps right, throws a screen out. It is caught by Scott at the 15 of the 20, starts outside, gets across the 25 of the 26. They pick up five yards. The ball at the Browns' 26-yard line. It'll be a third down. And about four yards to go for a Cleveland first down. Ken Brown is now in the offensive backfield. Number 30 for Cleveland, replacing Scott. Here is Phipps, dropping back to throw. Has time. He fires and is knocked down. Incomplete at the 38-yard line. Intended for Leroy Kelly. And overcovering on the play was Tim Foley. So the Browns will have to punt. Nick Bonacani dropped back in the middle linebacker spot there, Rick, and he's right there in front of Kelly. He's really the man that caused uh, that pattern messed up. That's right, it was Bonacani and not uh, Tim Foley. So uh, Cockroft comes in to putt, and on the season, he's one of the better ones with a 43.2 average. Jake Scott is the deep man back. Scott uh, has an eight-yard punt return average. The line of scrimmage, 26 in Cleveland territory. Cockroft standing back at the 11-yard line. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. He gets a good rush. Block! Down at the 10, rolling loose. It is recovered by the Dolphins at the 5. Picked up and run in for a touchdown. Charlie Babb, Rick. Run in by Charlie Babb. Charlie blocked that ball and ran it in. Rookie defensive back, Charlie Babb, number 49 from Memphis State. The biggest thrill of his career blocked the uh, punt. They put on a tremendous rush. The ball was rolling loose. Babb picked it up, fell down at the five. He was not tackled and just ran it into the end zone for a touchdown. Waiting for the snap on the try for point. It is up, and it is good. With 9.32 left to go in the first quarter, Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Dolphins 7 and the Browns nothing. 
Rick Weaver, Luke Freakford, and Henry Barrow back at the Orange Bowl. What a thrill for young Charlie Babb, the uh, youngster who has uh, been an outstanding specialty teams performer for the Dolphins this year to block the punt and pick it up and carry it into the end zone for the first touchdown. The Dolphins' no-name defense rising to the occasion to put the first points on the board. With a third down and two, Browns ball from their 28-yard line. 8.04 left to go in the first quarter. Dolphins lead 7-0. Kelly and Scott, the split backs in behind Phipps. On the snap, here's the handoff to Scott. Tries to get outside. Is caught and blocked. No gain on the play. Great defensive play by weak side linebacker Mike Cullen. The third-year veteran from Auburn. Scott was trying to get outside, running to the far side to his left, and Cullen tripped him up, and he never did get the corner turned. They put the ball down at the 28, so it'll bring up a punting situation. And Mr. Cockroft will try it again. Line of scrimmage, the Browns 28, Cockroft standing at the Browns 13. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. They put on another good rush. He gets it out of there. Almost blocked again. He booms a nice high punt. Scott way back and makes a fair catch for the Dolphins at the Miami 15-yard line. Lloyd Mumford really put a rush on that time and almost blocked it again. They mark it at the 16-yard line, so that's where the Dolphins will start from. From their 16, and uh, Cockroft gets off a punt of some 54 yards. The, uh, there's a timeout on the field. Dolphins football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Dolphins 7, and the Browns nothing. Rick Weaver back at the Orange Bowl. The Dolphins ready to begin operations from the Dolphins 16-yard line. Here is the handoff. Zonka, a quick hitter in the middle, and gets out to about the 20. Gain of four on that last carry by Zonka. Second down and six. Dolphins football from our 20. 20 splits far side. Here's the reverse. Uh, Warfield right uh, side. Cuts back to his left. 25, 30, 35. Up to the 40. Across the 40 to the 42. 21-yard pickup. First down for the Dolphins. Let's get down to Henry Barrow. Uh, defensive end Vern Denherter has an ice pack on his knee. He suffered a bruised knee. All right, first down, Miami from the Dolphins' 41-yard line. Jim kick, Larry Zonka out of the eye back. Here's the handoff, kick through a hole in the middle, bouncing off tacklers, gets out to about the 44-yard line before the hole closes in a hurry. Ball is just across the Miami 44. It'll be gain, uh, we'll call it three. It'll be second down and seven. Five minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first period. Howard Twilley splits to the far side, Warfield to the near side. Kick and Zonka, the split backs behind Morrow. Morrow drops the throw, quick uh, in, Twilley's got it, and he holds on to it. He has really cracked inside the Browns 45 and knocked off his feet at the 44-yard line. Another Miami first down on a 12-yard pass completion, just a slant over the middle to wide receiver Howard Twilley. So Morrow completes his first pass, first down at the Browns 44. They're giving Warfield single coverage. They split he and Twilley to the near side. Here's the handoff to Zonka, and he is wrapped for a loss, trying to come over the left side. It'll bring up a second down and 11. Well, he splits far side. Warfield to the near side. Zonka and Morris, the eye backs, in behind Morrow. On second down, 11 from the Browns' 45-yard line. Here's the pitch to Mercury. Sweet to the near side. Turns the corner. 45, 40, and run out of bounds. At the 37-yard line. A good block by Larry Zonka. Tom Darden is the fellow who ran him out. He gets uh, seven of the 11 yards needed. And that'll bring up a third down. And uh, let's see, we're going to mark the football. Third uh, down and about four. As they put it down at the 38-yard line. They set in the uh, power blocking uh, alignment. Here's the handoff going to Zonka. Big hole left side. He may have the first down inside the 35 to inside the 34. And it's going to be very close. And the officials will call a timeout for a measurement. First down, Miami at the Browns 34-yard line. Three minutes, 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Fully splits right, Warfield to the near side. Morris and Zonka, the split backs, in behind Morrow. Here's a play fake. Morrow dropping back to throw. He sets up. He is hit just as he fires the ball. It is knocked down at the goal line. It was intended for Warfield. And they put on a good rush that time. Uh, Jerry Shirk, Briggs, Johnson from the uh, front defensive four all got through on Morrow. And he was hit just as he got the ball away. And it was thrown high in the air and it was knocked down at the goal line by Tom Darden intended for Warfield. Second down and 10 from the Browns 34. Mandich has come in. Fleming is out at tight end. Howard Twilley splits to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Morris and Zonka. The split backs and behind Earl Morrow. Here's a handoff. Counter with uh, Zonka banging across the left side and he gets about two. If he got that far. 
A third down and nine situation. The Dolphins rush fire having a rough time trying to run on this Cleveland team that gave up 2,333 yards on the ground. Well, he splits to the far side. To the near side is Warfield. Or check it, Stowe to the near side. And Warfield sets as a slot man right. On third down and nine, the Browns 33. Morrow drops back to throw. He has time. He fires to the far sideline. It is incomplete. Intended out there for Jim Kick. Two minutes and 36 seconds. Show on the clock left to play in this first quarter. A 40-yard attempt for Gary Yepemian. Morrow holding from the near side inbounds hash mark toward the west end zone. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance. Flags go down. The kick is good. Now let's see what the flags are about. Cleveland, I think, was offside. And, of course, the Dolphins will decline the penalty. The field goal is good. A 40-yarder for you. Premian. Penalty is declined. Two minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first period. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with the score. The Dolphins 10. The Browns nothing. Rick Weaver back at the Orange Bowl. The kickoff was taken by Billy LaFear, and he ran it out to the 25 before Matheson just about tore him in half, and the Browns start first down from their 25-yard line. Dolphins lead 10 to nothing. Hooker splits fire side, pitch to the near side. Kelly and uh, Scott are the running backs, and behind Mike Phipps. They've been bottled up in their own end of the field for this first quarter. Here's the handoff. Quick opener, big hole. Scott, 30, 35, 40. Out across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Booms Bo Scott. Bo Scott. Dick Anderson coming over to make the tackle along with Doug Swift Bo and a great Bo hole up front. That's the first time that Nick Bonacani called it wrong. He's really been having himself a great game out here, matching wits with fifths. But this time he went to the strength. The man came right over the middle. 18 yards on the carry by Bo Scott. And the Browns have a first down out at their 43-yard line. My memory serves me correctly. That is the first first down of the ball game for Cleveland. 49 seconds left to play in this first quarter. Second and 12, Browns from their 41. Mike Phipps, the quarterback, on the snap. Hands off, quick opener through the hole. As Scott crossed the 50 down in the Dolphins' territory before he is gang-tackled at the Miami 44-yard line. And it's a first down for Cleveland at the Miami 44-yard line. Three seconds, two seconds. They will not have time to get this play off. And there is the end of the first quarter. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Dolphins 10, the Browns nothing. And we'll call it a second down and five. Actually, it's about four and a half. And Kelly and Brown are the running backs. A second down and five for Cleveland. The ball inside the Dolphins 40-yard line. Pitts and Hooker are split wide. Play fake. Phipps drops the throw. Now having to rush. He's running to his right. He can run. Turns the corner. 35-30. And is knocked down at the 25. Fumbles the ball. Let's see if it went out of bounds on the far side. Went it out of the pocket. Moved to his right. Turned the corner. And gets the first down at the Dolphins 25-yard line. This is the most serious threat for the Cleveland organization. Leroy Kelly and Ken Brown remain the running backs. It's a third down and 10 from the Miami 25-yard line. As Phipps drops straight back to throw, gets excellent protection. He fires in the middle. It is intercepted at the 6, the 10, out to the 15, the 20, up the near side. Curtis Johnson, 30, 35, out to the 40-yard line. He is decked right there at the 40-yard line. Curtis Johnson, the Dolphins' right quarterback, as the pass was overthrown, picked it off back at the 6-yard line and runs it back 34 yards. So the, the uh, Browns turnovers again hurt them, and the Dolphins' alert defense not only saves a touchdown, but saves a field goal. As the Dolphins take it back, that's the second interception on Phipps this afternoon. Kick and Zonker, the running back. First down Miami from the Dolphins' 40. Warfield splits far side, 20 to the near side. Zonker and Kick are in, in an eye. Johnson with the interception, a run back. Here's a handoff to Zonka. Big hole, left side out across the 45 to about the 47-yard line. They mark it up the 46-yard line, so give them a gain of six, second down and four. Dolphins from our 46. Here's the snap. Pitch shot to Morris. Sweep to the near side. Turns the corner. Bounces off the tackler. Still going inside the 50 and not knocked off his feet till he gets to the Cleveland 48-yard line. He was hit back at about the Dolphins 48. Bounced off that tackler and just kept going. First down for the Dolphins. They mark it at the Browns 47. The ball is uh, remains at the uh, Browns 47-yard line. A third down and nine. Dolphins from the Browns 47-yard line. Morrow drops back to throw. He sets up. He is firing deep for Warfield down the far side. He's down there. He can't hold it at the 4-yard line. Covering back on the play was Ken, uh, Ben Davis, the right cornerback. 
who followed him and stuck to him like glue. The pass was right on target, and uh, Davis was there and deflected it away. So Garrell comes in. We're going to get a field goal attempt here toward the east end, which will be some uh, some 56 yards. Snap is high. He gets the kick up. He's got the distance. It is just a little bit off to the left side, and he missed it. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with the score. The Dolphins 10, the Browns nothing. Third down and seven. Browns back in a huddle. They have the football at their 23. Back to throw. Goes Phipps again. He has plenty of time. Now it breaks down on him and he's dumped back at the 14-yard line. Bill Stanfield, the Dolphins' right side defensive end, the four-year veteran from Georgia, got to him. Vern Denherter also applied the pressure, and they mark it back at the 15. We have eight minutes and 21 seconds left to play in this first half. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. Our Dolphins 10 and the Browns nothing. The ball is marked down back at the Dolphins 39. It'll bring up a third down and 13. Mandich is in and Fleming is out at the tight side end. Knock in, kick the splitbacks. Behind Morrill, he drops the throw. He sets up. Now he's going to have to scramble, running to the far side of the field. And he's caught from behind by Walter Johnson and ridden to the turf at the 42-yard line. So that'll bring up a punting situation as he gets back just three yards with six minutes and 46 seconds left to play in the first half. No gain on the play. It'll be second down and ten. The Browns come out of the huddle. They send Pitts wide to the far side and Hooker to the near side. Mike Phipps, a three-year veteran from Purdue. His hometown is Columbus, Indiana. Drops back to throw. He is firing deep up the middle. It is caught by Kelly and he is hit and uh, holds onto the ball at the uh, Browns' 48-yard line. The Dolphins... Tim Foley made the tackle, and there was a scramble for it as Kelly juggled it around, but he held on to it as Phipps drilled him with a strike. Kelly coming off the far side and out of the backfield was the receiver on a 27-yard pass completion, and the Browns pick up a first down out to their 48-yard line. Just the gain of a yard, that'll bring up third down and nine as Bonacati, guessing correctly, makes the tackle on the play. Splits far side, hooker near side, third down and nine. Browns from the 49. Phipps drops back to throw, gets a rush. He fires the middle. It is caught, dropped, incomplete, ruled incomplete. So the Dolphins' no name defense holds again. All right, Cockroft into punt. He'll stand at the Browns 34. The line of scrimmage to Cleveland 49. Jake Scott is back deep at the 10, and Dick Anderson shallow for Miami. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. It's a high snap. Bubbled around by Cockroft. He is up, gets up, and he's going to be down back at the Cleveland 39-yard line. Jim Mandich was the man who was in there. That was a bad snap, and he needed a step ladder to get that one. He did get a hand on it, knocked the ball down. It bounced off the ground, and by the time he picked it up, Mandich was in on top of him, and the official ruled that he was down at the Cleveland 39-yard line. So the Dolphins' defense and specialty teams come to the fore again as a breakdown in punting and a couple of pass interceptions have been to the detriment of the Browns thus far. So the infraction, 15-yard penalty for offensive holding against Miami, marks the ball back at the Dolphins' 47-yard line, and it'll bring up the second down at about 24. Three minutes, 21 seconds to go in the first half. Miami leads 10-0. Split far side, Warfield, Tully to the near side. They've done a good job on pass coverage. The Browns have. Morrill up under center on the snap. Play fake, drops to throw, sets up, being rushed. He has to eat it. Cross for a loss. As the protection broke down, and Walter Johnson gets in on him. The eight-year veteran from Cal State of Los Angeles. And Morrill is dumped for a loss. Back uh, at about the 38-yard line. That's the second time that they've gotten to him this afternoon. Third down and 33. Mandich is in. Fleming is out at tight end for Miami. The ball is way back at the Dolphins' 38-yard line now. And the... Uh, Dolphins have the wide, uh, have managed put out as a wide receiver to the far side. Dropping back to throw. Here is the handoff to Morris on the so-called Statue of Liberty, and he is dumped for another big loss. As Morrill was dropping the throw, Morris coming around from the far side, took the handoff, and the Cleveland uh, defense was waiting for it and dumped him for a loss back at the 27-yard line. Nick Roman, the defensive left end, makes the tackle. So that brings up a punting situation, and this Cleveland uh, defense has really got the Miami offense scouted thus far. Second down and one for the Browns from their 34. And we are rapidly approaching the uh, two-minute warning area of this first half. Miami with a 10-0 lead, but unable to move the football offensively against a determined Browns defense. Fair Hooker and Pitts are the wide receivers. Kelly Slatman left. Pitts on the uh, draw play. Hands to Scott. Big hole. 35-40 out across the 45 of the 46. Two minutes and six seconds. That of Torrance is good for a first down. 2.06 left to play in the first half. 
from the Browns' 46 fifths. Looks left, fires up the middle. It is picked off by the Dolphins. 30 back to the 25 before he is tackled. And there's the two-minute warning. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with the score, the Dolphins 10, the Browns nothing. The Dolphins' rushing attack, which has averaged 211 yards per game on the season, has been held to unofficially 48 yards on the ground. Cleveland has rushed for 64 yards. And so, that's, it's been a de defensive battle with a minute and 55 seconds to go in the half and Miami leading 10 to nothing. Brownies are very upset going into this ball game because they had nobody selected on the Pro Bowl team and uh, they thought particularly the two tackles, Johnson and Shook, should have been selected. Here is the handoff on the reverse. Uh, Warfield coming to the near side to the 30, 35, 40, 45, and he's knocked out of bounds up at the 49-yard line in Miami territory. Almost reached the midfield stripe, and that's where they're going to mark it. That has been the biggest gainer for the Dolphins this afternoon, and uh, earlier it picked up 21 yards. Darden makes the tackle and rammed him out of bounds right at the midfield stripe, and the Dolphins come up with a first down out to the 50-yard uh, line. About 20-yard gain on the play, and Stoke comes in, and Warfield comes out. That has been the biggest gainer, the flanker around for the Dolphins this afternoon. Now Fleming is out and manages in a tight end. First down Miami at the 50-yard line. Since the play did go out of bounds, the clock is stopped with a minute and 28 seconds left to play in the first half. Dolphins lead 10-0. Zonka and Morris, the splitbacks behind Morrill. First down from the Browns' 40-yard line. On the snap, here is the uh, inside trap. Morris, big hole, 35, 30. Touch to the outside and is knocked out at the 28-yard line. A delayed handoff, and Morris found a big hole, cut out to the near side, and picks up a first down at the 28-yard line. Eight of 12 on the play, and Miami immediately calls a timeout. It stops the clock with a minute and six seconds left to go in the first half, and that will bring up a second and nine. The clock continues to move with 50 seconds, 50 oh seconds left to go. In the first half, Warfield splits far side, 20 to the near side. Morrow, here is that reverse again, and the handoff to Morris comes across the near side, 20 down to the 15, gets to the 12. He comes off the far side of the uh, backfield, and it is a kind of a reverse as he takes the inside handoff from Morrill, who is going away from the line of scrimmage, and that picks up a first down. Down to the Browns, 13-yard line. The tackle by Lindsay and Darden. On the snap, here's the pass. Morrill completes, and out of bounds. Down at the 8-yard line is Howard Twilley. Picks up about 5 yards, and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock with 17 seconds. From the 8-yard line. Earl drops to throw. He is setting up. He is looking. He's going to run with it, and he's going to get no place. He loses a yard to the nine-yard line, and uh, the ball is marked at the 10. We got a timeout call by Miami to stop the clock with 12 seconds. Nobody was open that Morrow could spot, and he had to eat the football and toss for a two-yard loss. When time is in with 12 seconds showing on the board, it'll be a third down and seven for a first down, 10 yards to go for a score. On a third down and seven. On the snap. Morrow drops back to throw. And now he's going to run. And he gets to the 11. And that's all. He gets to the 11. And Nick Roman brings him down. And the field goal unit immediately runs on the field. Time is halted with seven seconds. Left to play in the first half. And they're going to have to set up tightly. Now the clock starts to move. Three seconds. Snap. Kick us up. It is good. But there's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. The Dolphins did not have a timeout left. And they had to hurry to get the play in motion. There was a flag drop before they got the kick up. And let's see whether it's going to count or not. The kick was good. Illegal procedure is the call against Miami. There is no time left showing on the board. And there is the gun ending the first half. That's the way it should have ended. The penalty was against the offense. And we finally got the signal from the officials. The Dolphins did not have a timeout left, apparently. They had used up all of their timeouts. And uh, they had... Either too many or not enough uh, men on the field in the confusion. Your Permian got the kick up and uh, went through the uprights, but the flag was immediately dropped. And the Dolphins are penalized. And, of course, the penalty against the offense allows the time to run out. And the field goal does not count. So that's the end of the first half. Our Dolphins 10 and the Browns nothing. Well, the Browns start from their own 19-yard line as we begin playing the second half of this uh, playoff game. That'll bring up a third down situation in about four. From their 26-yard line, Mike Phipps, the quarterback, looks over the defensive alignment. Now calls the signals, waiting for the snap. Long count. Here's the handoff. Scott hits the middle. He did not make the first down, and a big pileup at the 28-yard line. He's about a yard shy as they were waiting for him. Nick Bonacani called a lot of various defenses there in the first half, Rick, and I think here at halftime, when they went back in there, they were told to let's get back to the basics and stop that run. We have 11 minutes, 5 seconds left to play in this third quarter. Dolphins lead 10-0. Third down and two. Dolphins from their 48-yard line. 
They've got to take it to this Cleveland defense and show them who's boss. They have not been able to establish that yet thus far. Waiting for the snap. Here is the handoff. Going to Zonka. He is hit at the line of scrimmage coming across the right side and does not get it. He gets to the line of scrimmage and is dumped right there at the 48-yard line. Clarence Scott, the left cornerback, second-year man from Kansas State, Walter Johnson, Jerry Shirk, all in on the stop. So, Larry Seipel will have to punt. This Cleveland defense, you cannot say enough about them. And Seipel will stand back at about the 33-yard uh, line, the line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 48. Leroy Kelly and Tom Darden are the deep men back to field the punt. Wind is not a factor. A little bit of high snap. Seipel gets it out of there. Gets off a wobbly end over end. Kick to the far side. Darden grabs it on the run at the 19. Up the 20. The far sideline to 30. Far sideline to the 40. 45. 50. And he's knocked out at the Dolphin 45-yard line. To the 44-yard line is where they're going to mark it. Just a magnificent return by punt return specialist Tom Darden, the rookie from Michigan. And Larry Seipel was the only one who had a chance at him, Rick. And Larry made the tackle. 37-yard return. Timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Dolphins 10 and the Browns nothing. Rick Weaver back at the Orange Bowl. The Browns following that 37-yard punt return by Darden. Number 33-yard Seifel punt. Seifel had to make the tackle. Have the ball at the Dolphins 44. Phipps on the snap. Play fakes. Drops the throw. He has plenty of time. Now he fires for the near side. It is caught by Moore on the tight end of 30. He's knocked down at the Dolphins 25-yard line by cornerback Curtis Johnson. Milt Moran, they tried to go to him earlier in the day, and uh, that's the first pass that he has received. Let's see where they're going to mark it. His progress may have carried him a little bit farther than the 25. It did inside the 25, to the 23 is where they mark it. So it's a first down for the uh, Browns as Phipps hits tight end Milt Moran. And uh, the Brownies are now just about as far as they've gotten this afternoon. They had one picked off earlier by Curtis Johnson at the six-yard line to stop an earlier drive. First down from the Miami 23. They're down in the shadows at the west end of the field. Fifth spins, hands to Bo Scott over the left side. He gets inside the 20 down to about the 17-yard line before he's knocked off his feet. 8.45 to go in the third quarter. It is the second down and four. Cleveland's ball in the Miami 17-yard line. Phipps has his backs in an eye. Waiting for the snap is Mike Phipps. Long count at the line of scrimmage. He takes the ball. Fires a pass, caught by Hooker, out of bounds, immediately at the nine-yard line. First down and goal for the Browns at the Dolphins' nine-yard line, and they are really knocking on the door now. This is their most serious uh, threat, the penetration of the Browns this afternoon. Mike Phipps up under center, waits for the snap. Long count again. Here's the handoff. Scott hits the middle on the delay, gets to about the five before he's stacked up. Bo Scott, second down and five and a half yards to go for a score for the Browns. Eight minutes. Exactly, left to play in the third quarter. The Dolphins have been stymied on offense, but lead 10 to nothing on Cleveland mistakes. Ready to go, our uh, Mark Phipps and the Browns. Pitt splits far side, Hooker near side. Scott and Kelly, the split back, second down, five and a half. Here's a play fake. Phipps is going to run it. He's circling the right side. He is caught at the two and falls into the end zone. Carried the tackler with him for the touchdown. Mike Phipps runs it in from five yards out. Den Herter had an arm on him and could not contain him. Phipps is a big quarterback at 6'3", 215 pounds. And so the Browns drive down the field and get into the end zone with a touchdown. And this uh, makes a brand new ball game out of it. Bill Nelson, reserve quarterback, is in the hold. And that was a good drive for Cleveland. Cockroft will try the point from placement. It's now a 10-6 score with 7.38 left to play in this third quarter. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up. And it is good. That drive, 44 yards, five plays. Phipps ran for his sixth touchdown of the year. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Dolphins 10 and the Browns 7. And uh, the Dolphins will start from their 20-yard line and try to get something started. We stress again that this Cleveland defense has been very, very tough. Morrow, in the first half, was able to complete only three out of nine for only 21 yards. First down, Dolphins from the 20-yard line, moving from our left to our right. Morrow spins, hands the kick through a hole in the middle. 25 out to the 29 of the 30-yard line. First gym kick. It is not quite enough for a first down, about a half yard shy. The backs are in an eye. Here's the handoff going to kick. Bounces off a tackler. Squirts through 35, 37-yard line. Jim kick. Gets the first down for Miami. Out to the Dolphins 37-yard line. The tackle made by Darden. 
And right wide linebacker Billy Andrews. First down Miami from the Dolphins 37 yard line. Morrill on the snap. Play fake. Drops back to throw. Has time. Fires for the near sideline. Twilly's got it. And it's a first down. And the Dolphins have a first down at the Browns 46 yard line. Howard Twilly picks up his second reception of the afternoon. And that offensive line of the Dolphins is really firing off that football now and blocking the tails off of the Browns defense. Twilly is out. And Mandich comes in on the short yardage situation. They did not make the first down. It's a third down, less than a yard. Mandich and Fleming, the two tight ends. The ball at the Cleveland 37-yard line. 4.38 left to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 10 to 7. Kick and Zonka remain the splitbacks. Warfield sets as a wingman left. Third down, less than a yard. And the Browns 37. Here's the handoff. Kick over the left side. First down. He fumbles the ball. Who's got it? Browns looks like at their 34. They recover. Kick was hit. Stripped of the football, and Charlie Hall, the linebacker for Cleveland, came up with it. So the Dolphins cough it up. Just as they had the drive going, and this is bound to turn the momentum around, he had the first down made and uh, lost the football. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from the orange ball with a score. The Dolphins 10, the Browns 7. It'll be third down and about six yards, actually five and a half to go for a Cleveland first down. They put the ball down at the 37 and a half. We'll call it 38. Three minutes. 17 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Dolphins 10, Brown 7. This has turned into a real Pier 6 brawl, a dogfight. Pitt splits far side. Hooker near side. Scott and Kelly, the split backs behind Phipps. He drops the throw. He drops deep. He sets up. Good protection. Firing deep. It is over. Thrown and tenant for Kelly. Down at the 35 on a deep slant over the middle. So that brings up a punting situation. Minus from the Cleveland 38. Scott is the deep man. Anderson the shallow man. Here is the snap. It's a pretty good rush. Hangs it high. It's not too deep. Spiral. Jake Scott makes the fair catch for the Dolphins at the Miami 30-yard line. So the Dolphins will start, to, now they put it down at the 29, will start from their 29-yard line and try to get something going offensively here with 2 minutes and 51 seconds. Left to go in the third quarter. Miami with a 10-7 lead. And they have done a job on Warfield this afternoon. The Earl has tried to go to him a couple of times. Paul... On the flanker around, that has been the principal weapon as far as he is concerned. The backs are setting an eye. Dolphins from their 29, moving from our left to our right. Morrill hands off the kick, finds a hole, squirts through, out across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Second down and three, Miami's football at their 36-and-a-half-yard line. Fully and Warfield, double wide receivers to the far side of the field. Morrill on the snap, hands to kick, stutter step, hole left side, 40. He's got the first down up to the 41-yard line. A minute and 23 seconds to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 10 to 7. First down, Miami at their 41-yard line. Warfield and Twilly both deploy to the near side. Kick and Zonka, the split backs behind Morrill. Earl play fake, sprints out to the near side. He's going to throw. He fires. Howard Twilly can't hold it. Incomplete. He had to come back as he had cut into his left at the 42-yard line and then fall backwards toward the sidelines, and he just couldn't hold on to the ball. That'll bring up a second down and 10 for the Dolphins. Earl Morrill, the quarterback, spins, hands to Morris on the delay through the middle, big hole, 45, 50 down in the Browns territory at the 48-yard line. Squirts the mark. And this Browns defense uh, facing a fired-up Miami offensive line now. First down from the Browns, 48-yard line. Hand off to Merck, starts inside, cuts outside, and he is met and met head-on at the 46. After a gain of two, a second down at eight for the Dolphins. The ball at the... Uh, Browns 46. That's the end of the third period as the gun sounds. Dolphin football action will continue from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Dolphins 10 and the Browns 7. But as we start the final quarter, this one is still very much in doubt. The Dolphins with a second down and 8 at the Browns 46 lead by only 3, 10 to 7. Here's the handoff to Morris. Sweep to the far side. Gets the corner turn. And he's out of bounds inside the 40 down at about the 38-yard line. That's going to be close to a Miami first down. Third down. And a yard to go. Twilly is out, and uh, Mandich comes in to get the Dolphins. Fleming and Mandich, the two tight ends. We've just started the final period. Dolphins 10, round 7. We have not been able to put together, I say we, the Dolphins, a sustained drive for a touchdown this afternoon. The power blocking unit sets in tight from the 39, third and one. Here's a handoff, Morris, over the right side, and I don't think he made it. No gain. They're not going to bring the chains in. The referee had signified. Now the Dolphins are going to send in the field goal unit. The Premier was one for three. We'll try a 46-yard field goal attempt. He has missed from 54 and 46, has a 40-yarder. Moral hole, snap, set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance on it. It is gone! Here are you, Premier, with a 46-yarder. 
And the Dolphins now move out to a 13 to 7 lead. And the little guy from Cypress comes through. But uh, six points is not going to be enough here the way uh, Phipps moved that uh, ball club last time. But they had their hands on the football. But that uh, certainly helps out. 46 yards for Garrell. And gives him his second of the ball game. A 71 yard drive, seven plays. You're coming in 46 yards on the field goal. So it's now 13 to 7 with 13.32 to go. And the Dolphins' no name defense has to get the football back again. 13 minutes, 32 seconds. Separate the Dolphins from their 16th consecutive victory over the last two years. Their 15th in a row this year. But it has been hard and really hard to come by. This has been a game reminiscent to me, at least physically, of the last Jets game. And of course, the Minnesota Vikings earlier in the season up at uh, Bloomington. Flipping against the Browns. So, uh, Mr. Phipps is 90 yards away, trailing by six. And this is where the, the defense really has an opportunity to put Cleveland in the hole, Rick. If they can hold them down here and force them to punt, Miami be in real great shape going into this fourth quarter. Kelly and Scott, the running back, split far side. Is Hooker near side, Pitt. First down, Browns in their 10-yard line. Dolphins lead 13 to seven. Waiting for the snap, Phipps another long count. Play fake, drops deep to throw. He sets up now. He's going to run with the ball. Gets out to the 15. Out to the 20. He's got the first down and is nailed at the 24. Picks up 14 yards on the carry. 12 minutes, 49 seconds left to go. The Dolphins lead 13 to 7. Have not been able to score a touchdown offensively against this Browns defense. Mike Phipps, the quarterback, up under center, waits for the snap. Long count, spins, hands to Scott. Sweep to the right, cut back to his left. Out to the 30. Still going. Bounces off a tackler. And he's across the 35, out to the 37, 38 yard line. 12 minutes, 7 seconds to go. All right, Hooker split far side, Pitts near side. Kelly and Scott, the split backs behind Phipps. Phipps, play fake, drops deep to throw. He sets up, fires the middle. It is overthrown and tenor for Morin and could have been picked off. Second down and 10. The ball for Cleveland at their 38-yard line. 11 minutes, 53 seconds left to play. The lights are on here at the Orange Bowl. The Dolphins lead 13-7 to in a battle for their lives against this fired-up Cleveland Brown football team. Hooker splits far side, pits near side. Scott and Kelly, the split backs, in behind Phipps. On second down, Phipps drops deep to throw. He sets up, being rushed, fires as he's hit. The pass is caught. It's complete and not knocked down at the Dolphin 44-yard line is Fair Hooker. And that's the first time they've gone to him. He made a great catch, and he was really cracked, but not before he gets the first down, and just as Mr. Phipps got rid of that ball, he was really decked by... Uh, Stanfield, 18 yards on the pass completion, and Dick Anderson is the man who made the tackle. So Phipps on the first completion of the day to Hooker gets the first down at the Dolphins 44-yard line. The receivers are deployed, split to each side. Here's the handoff, Scott into the middle and gets to about the 41. Bo Scott, 10 minutes, 55 seconds to go. The Dolphins lead by only six. Willie Richardson's brother is the wide receiver split to the far side. Frank Pitts to the near side. On the snap, Pitts on the option, keeps, runs to the right. He is inside the 40, knocked out at the 36-yard line. Milt Moran in the power blocking unit. Fair Hooker stays in. The ball up at offense, 36. Third down and about two and a half for a first down. They must get to the 34. Waiting for the snap. Picks up the line of scrimmage up under center. Long count. Third down, two and a half. The Dolphin 36-yard line. On the snap, he's going to sneak it. He runs straight ahead, and he squirts through for what appears from here to be the first down. Nine minutes, 42 seconds to go. The Dolphins lead 13 to 7, and Phipps has his ball club on a drive. The Dolphins 33 on first down. Phipps sprints out to his right, sets the throw. He is caught and dragged down to lost the 38-yard line by Manny Fernandez. That's the second time the Dolphins have been able to get to uh, Phipps this afternoon. Second down and 15. Browns ball at the Dolphins' 38-yard line. Hookers, Phipps far side, Pitts near side. Kelly and Scott are the splitbacks this time. In behind Phipps, second and 15 from the Miami 38. On the snap, Phipps drops straight back to throw. Sets up, he fires. It is intercepted at the 19, the 20, the 25. And Dick Anderson, who uh, intercepted the ball, was hit, fumbled it, and the Browns recovered at the Dolphins' 29, and Fair Hooker comes up with it. Dick Anderson picked the pass off. It was intended for Milt Moore, and he grabbed it at the 19-yard line. He rambled up the near sideline, and as he cut back to his right, he was hit, fumbled the ball, and Fair Hooker recovers for the Browns at the Dolphins' 30. How's that for a turnaround? All right, the Browns have the ball with a first down at the Miami 30-yard line. Eight minutes, 37 seconds to go. Kelly and Brown. Ken Brown now, the running backs. And Scott has gone out. Hooker splits left. Pitch to the near side. First down, Brown to the Dolphins. 30-yard line. Pips, long count at the line of scrimmage. Spins. Hands to Brown. Cuts outside of the near side. And he has run out of bounds at the 28-yard line, maybe the 27th. The ball is marked at the Dolphins. 28. Second down and 8. We'll call it for a first down. 8 minutes. 
19 seconds left to play. Dolphins lead by only six, 13 to seven. Hooker splits left, hits to the near side. Brown and uh, Kelly are the split backs behind Mike Phipps. Phipps drops back to throw. Has time. He fires deep. Hooker wide open. He's got a touchdown, Brown. And the Browns tie it up, 13 to 13. 28 yard pass as Phipps drops straight back. Had good protection, had time, and Hooker just was wide open, slanting down toward the flag at the far corner of the field. And the Dolphins' win streak is now in jeopardy. Although we have 8-11 to go, it's tied up 13-13, to 13, still plenty of time. All right, Nelson will hold, and Cockroft will try the point that could put the Browns out in front. With 8-11 to play, snap, set down, the kick is up. And it is good. Cleveland takes the lead with 8 minutes, 11 seconds to play. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, the Browns 14, the Dolphins 13. Rick Weaver back at the Orange Bowl, and 80,010 are stunned. A 30-yard drive, two plays. Fair Hooker caught his third touchdown pass, 28 yards, wide open. Mike Phipps through his 14th. Mercury Morris, Schubert again, back deep as the Browns lead for the first time, 14 to 13, with 8-11 to go. And the Dolphins, who have not been able to put together a sustained offensive drive, against the Browns have got to do it now here's the kick by Cockroft again it's deep way back in the end zone there will be no run back it's down and the Dolphins will start from the 20 80 yards away moving from our right to our left toward the west end of the field trailing 14 to 13 and the key now is can Miami move the football and uh, play ball control and get into that end zone for an offensive touchdown which the Browns defense have prohibited them from doing this afternoon the only score for Miami was a touchdown by Charlie Babb on a block punt and two field goals by Euphremian. Morris and Zonka, the split backs in behind Morrill. Warfield splits left, fully to the far side. Morrill drops the throw. He fires. Warfield got it. Holds on the ball as he's decked to the 35-yard line. Holy Toledo, what a catch. A tackle by Ben Davis, the right cornerback, and the free safety Tom Darden. They mark it at the 34, 14-yard completion. They've got to get the ball to Warfield and open up this defense so they can run. They have not been able to do it, and they did that time. First down, Miami at their 34. Philly sets a couple of yards off the right side. Warfield's put a couple of yards left. Morris and Zonka, the split backs behind. Morrill, hold in the middle. Mercury squirts through, gets to the 40-yard line. Mercury Morris, and believe me, the Browns' defense is going after that football. You've got to hold on to it tight. The tackles by Johnson and Schurz, the two defensive tackles. The ball at the Miami 40-yard line. A gain of six, it'll be second down and four. Clock continues to move, 7.16 to go. That uh, confusion near the end of the half when the uh, Dolphins were not allowed the field goal at the end of the half also looms large, but they have their three timeouts remaining in the second half, as do the Browns. Second down and four from the 40-yard line. Here's the handoff to Morris. Sweep to the right behind. Little cut back to the left. Gets the corner turn up to the 45, and that is good for a first down. Tackled by Charlie Hall, the left side linebacker. And these linebackers, Lou, have done an excellent job on the uh, blockers on the sweeps today. First down Miami. And keeping the Dolphins pretty well in check, I think. Sure have, Rick. Really, that Hall and Andrews way in those uh, corner linebackers. They're out there right in the middle of it all. You just can't get around them. They're stopping it right there at the line. All right, the ball at the Miami 45. First down, Dolphins. Morris and Zucker remain the running backs. Warfield and Tully, the wide receivers. Mara Fleming, the tight end. Earl Marl, the quarterback. Dolphins trail 14 to 13. We're in the last quarter. 6.23 left to play. Tully splits far side. Warfield to the near side. Morrow drops back to throw. Sets up. He pumps, he fires deep. Warfield down there. He's got a 25 and falls out of the 21 yard line. Warfield is shaken up on the play. He caught the ball at the 25, and it appeared that he may have turned his ankle or turned a knee because his footing just left him, and he was down of his own accord at the 21 yard line. And it appears to be a rib or something. According to our spotter, Al Buch, who has the glasses on him, and the trainer, Bob Lunny, and his associate, the Stan Taylor, out there. Warfield comes up with the big pass reception of the ball game. Lou? It's probably, Rick, it looks like he came down on the football, hit him right there in the stomach, and I think he's got the wind knocked out of him. Well, I hope that's all it is, and the Dolphins are right back knocking on the door now. With a first down, there is a timeout on the field, but we'll keep it here with six minutes and five seconds to go. As Earl Morrow pumped once, looked long, and found Warfield deep in behind. That Cleveland defense, and they uh, caught the ball at the 25, appeared to stumble and fell down, and was down to the 21. And Rick Earl really lofted that ball out there. I think if he, had, if he had put a little more zip on it and let it out there a little bit in front of Paul, that he would have had a score on it. Orfield is up. He appears to be okay. 34-yard pass reception from Paul to Paul Warfield, and uh, Paul is coming out under his, under his own direction. 
against his old teammate. And the Dolphins have a first down at the Browns 21 yard line. Six minutes, five seconds to go. Miami trails 13 to 14. Otto Stowe, the second year receiver from Iowa State at 6'2", 188, is in to replace him. And that is really the longest pass that Morrill has completed today. Henry? It was the wind that got knocked out of Paul Warfield. He'll be back. Okay, Stowe splits to the near side. First down from the Browns, 21. Morrill hands to Morris. Starting to the left side. Cut back to his right, and he has cracked at the 17. He made his cutback. The sweep was to the near side, to his left, and he cut back to his right, and waiting for him right there was right side linebacker Billy Andrews and the weak safety Tom Darden. The cheer is for Warfield, who comes back in. Stowe is out, and Jim Kick comes into the running backfield for the Dolphins. As Morris comes out, they mark the ball at the uh, Cleveland 18, so it's a gain of only three. It'll be second down and seven. Five minutes, 17 seconds. The touchdown is mandatory here. Dolphins could take the lead back with a field goal, but that would still leave plenty of time. The Browns lead by one, 14-13. Twilly slips far side. Warfield near side. Kick and Zonka in behind. Morrow. Morrow drops the throw. He sets up. He is firing down here. A flag as Warfield is knocked down in the end zone. The pass is incomplete. And he was dumped. He was dumped by Billy Andrews, the right side linebacker, and that occurred in the end zone. The flag was immediately thrown. And pass interference is going to be called on Cleveland. And since it occurred in the end zone, it'll give the Dolphins a first down. Now let's see where they're going to mark it. Or did it occur in the end zone? It occurred at the eight-yard line, and that's where they're going to mark it right there. If, if it had occurred in the end zone and Warfield was down in the end zone, it would have been a first and goal, but they mark it at the eight-yard line, and that's where it, where it is placed down with a first and goal from the eight-yard line. Pass interference on the Browns. All right. Kick and Bronca are the running backs. Phillies puts far side. Warfield near side. First and goal. Miami from the Browns' eight-yard line. Morrow on the snap. Hands off. Kick through the middle. He's got a touchdown! line, Kuchenberg, Langer, and Little just blocked people up into the nickel seats and kick rambled eight yards right straight ahead for the TD. Your premium will try the point from placement. Morrow will hold with 4.54 left. The Dolphins now lead 19 to 14. Waiting for the snap. Set down. The kick is up. And it is good. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, the Dolphins 20, the Browns 14. The Imperians kickoff hits the crossbar, and that uh, makes it a dead football. So the Browns will start from their 20-yard line. Carroll hit the upright with the kickoff, so that's a dead football. And the Browns are 80 yards away now with their clock very much the factor. Dolphins still lead by only six points, 20 to 14. A touchdown for kick, his sixth for the year. Miami 20, the Browns 14. Kelly and Scott, the running backs, in behind Phipps. Phipps dropping back to throw. He sets up, swings one out. Little square pass caught by Scott, and he's across the 25, gets out to about the 29-yard line. Dolphins fighting for their lives, lead the Browns 20-14. to 14. All right, third down and six. They're taking Milt Morin, the tight end out. The ball is at the Cleveland 39. The clock is stopped on the incompletion with 3 4 to go. Hooker splits far side, and Pitts comes to the near side. And they put in Chip Glass as the tight end. From the 39, Pitts drops back to throw. He fires the middle. It is incomplete at the 50-yard line. Intended for Glass, who just went in the tight end. Doug Swift and Jake Scott covered on the play, so that brings up a fourth and six, and they will have to punt. This is a very important punt right here, and what happens following it? Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Does not get a rush. He angles it high down the near sideline. It's going to bounce at the 22 inside the 20, cuts for the near side, and rolls out of bounds at the Miami 16-yard line. It'll be a third down coming up, and 10 yards to go for the Dolphins from their 16-yard line. And the clock shows two minutes and two seconds left to play in this first half. We're coming right up to the two-minute warning. And, Rick, let's say that I think right now we're going to see Merck run that end run. It is to the right or the left. This is probably this is the favorite play that you'll see with Earl. All right, let's see what, uh, what happens. Third and ten. Dolphins must get a first down here to keep their hands on the ball from their 16. Waiting for the snap from center is Earl Morrill. He hands off. Zonka, a trap over the right side, out across the 20, digging and driving for yardage of the 25, out to the 26, and let's see if he got the first down. Big hole over the right side. And he may not have gotten it. He did not. They mark it at the 25, and he picks up uh, nine yards. So there is the two-minute warning. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, the Dolphins 20, the Browns 14. Rick Weaver, Luke Quickburn, and Henry Barrow back at the dramatic, uh, the packed orange bowl. The Dolphins are going to have to give up the football as Larry Zonka was a yard shy of his first down attempt. 
A minute 56 seconds to go. Seifel will punt. The ball is at the 25-yard line, and he'll stand at the 10. Kelly and Darden are the deep men back for the Browns. A good kick here is absolutely essential. The snap. No rush. He gets the kick out of there. And it's grabbed by Kelly at the 40, 45, and it's knocked out at the Browns 49-yard line. On the run. He took it and returns about nine yards. That was not a particularly good kick, only of some uh, 35 yards. So time and field position now become a definite factor. The Browns need a touchdown. A field goal won't do them any good. Dolphins lead 20 to 14. Fips the quarterback. As Kelly slips the uh, far side, he drops straight back. Now he's going to run with the ball and gets inside the 50, down inside the 45 of the Dolphins 44. Eight of seven, second down and three. Hooker splits far side, pits near side. Kelly and Scott, the running back. The Dolphins 44. Pitch, uh, pitch drops the throw. Here's the pass. Scott at the 40, 37-yard line, gets to the 35, and that is good enough for a first down. We got the, uh, the clock has stopped with a minute and 15 seconds to go. Doug Swift and Dick Anderson made the tackle. The Browns call a timeout, use up one of their timeouts. All right, the ball is at the uh, Dolphins 35. Hooker, Kelly, and Pitts deployed as wide receivers. Here is Phipps dropping straight back to throw. He's got time, he's caught, and he breaks off one tackle, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. We'll call it a second down. And nine from the Dolphins, 34. Clock moving with 105 to go. Here is Phipps dropping back to throw. Setting up. He fires the middle. It is intercepted. And the Dolphins, 20, 25, 30, 35. Touch for the near side. Touch for another block. He is knocked down at the 39-yard line. Rick, you can see Doug Swift on his play. Just wanted to stay in bounds and burn up some time. And he did a darn good job of it. Stay in bounds and burn up a good 15 seconds. That was the old ball game, uh, or could be, as Swift picked it off, his second interception of the ball game, the Dolphins' fifth. I believe it was intended for Morin, and uh, he got it back at the 20 and ran it back all over the field. Finally knocked down by Morin at the Dolphins' 39. So, we have 42 seconds left to play. The clock is moving. The Dolphins are in no hurry. And the Dolphins lead 20 to 14. Kick and Zonka will be the running backs. First down, Miami at the 39. Dolphins hanging on with a six-point lead, trying to give their fans another Merry Christmas. We'll meet the Pittsburgh Steelers next Sunday in Pittsburgh. You'll hear it on WIOD at 1150. Morrow brings his ball club up with 19, 18. They'll keep it on the ground, and now the officials blow their whistles, and we're going to get a penalty against uh, Miami five yards for delay of the game, and that will stop the clock. The Dolphins don't care. Mandich comes in, sets the ball back at the 34-yard line. Clock is stopped with 15 seconds, so it'll be a first down in 15. 20 to 14. The premium field goal kicking in key situations. Charlie Babs, block of the punt, the touchdown. And just a great performance by the specialty team and the defense has been the story of this ball game. Fleming and Maddich, the two tight ends are in there now. 15 seconds. Dolphins ready to go to work. Morrow on the snap just falls on the ball right at the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins are not going to call any timeout. And uh, there is one call by... Cleveland to stop the clock with 11 seconds to go. That leaves the Browns with just one timeout. As this has been a bruiser, a brutal football game, these Browns came to play. The Dolphins unable to do too much offensively against them, uh, except for the field goal kicking and moving into position for Garrow to kick, and of course the specialty teams and the defense. The fans are chanting, we're number one, we're number one. But I want to give credit to this Cleveland team. They came to play. Well coached, and they played. They played the Dolphins to a standstill. And believe me, uh, if Tex Mullen, Sports Illustrated, thinks the Central Division is a weak division, I would uh, suggest that he put on pads and go down there and try it himself because we catch another one of these teams, the winner of the Central Division, the Pittsburgh Steelers, next week. All right, the Dolphins ready to go to work with 11 seconds to go. Morrill on the snap just falls down on it at the 33-yard line. A loss of a yard, the clock moving, seven seconds. And again, the Browns call a timeout to stop the clock, use up their timeouts. That's their last one. And uh, there are seven seconds left to play in this football game. And our specialty team's awards performer for this ball game, who else? The sensational young man from Charleston, Missouri, who blocked the punt, ran it in for a touchdown in the first quarter for the Dolphins' uh, touchdown. Charlie Babb is our specialty team's winner for the second time this year. And Charlie's got to be one happy rookie, Rick. This is just what a rookie dreams about here in a playoff game to go ahead and block that, block that kick and run it over for his score satisfying enough to do it during the regular season, but imagine here in a playoff. All right, here we go with the last play of the game. Dolphins with a third down and 15 from their 34, seven seconds showing on the clock. Kick and Zonka remain the running backs. Morrow will just grab the ball and fall on it. The, the Browns are out of timeout. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and the Dolphins are in the AFC championship game with a hard-fought battle over a very good Cleveland Browns team. 
the final score. Our Dolphins 20 and the Cleveland Browns 14. We'll be back with the final wrap-up after these announcements. Well, what are your plans now, Don? Well, we're going to take uh, tonight with the family. And when do you go up to Pittsburgh? Well, we haven't uh, set a time yet. We're thinking uh, about possibly Friday. Well, Don, congratulations on a great win. Let's hope it's just that's success. I'll say it yet. As successful in Pittsburgh and L.A. Thank you. Henry, I'll tell you, I think just about everybody has uh, been in the shower already and headed towards home, towards a real happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. So let's you want it back? I just want to say Merry Christmas, too, uh, and wish that fellow that does the play-by-play -play up there on the air a very Merry Christmas. I'm with you all the way. Let's just say Merry Christmas to Rick, and a Merry Christmas to Al, and you, Al, you're up there. Watch for that fella in the sleigh. Right on the roof, and uh, now you and Henry in the shower room, and uh, everything will be all right. Strictly as a Dolphin fan and a radio listener, I'd like to uh, congratulate Rick, Henry, and Lou for the great job they've done after these first 15 victories and hoping that they have two more to do.